Right, it's a big development coming in the cash for query controversy. The ethics panel of the Lok Sabha has written to External Affairs Ministry to authenticate businessman Darshan Hiranandani's sworn affidavit. Uh, and that uh, will then make it into a legalized document. It can be read as a statement too. Hiranandani himself is unlikely to be called. I want to bring in Polomi Saha for the latest on that. Polomi, go ahead. Because with the ethics panel taking this up, this could actually become a big issue. How political is it turning out and specifically about the letter itself? Well, uh, as far as the latest information we do have is uh, that the ethics panel will be writing to the Ministry of External Affairs possibly today itself is what I've learned from my sources uh, to proceed forward in this case. What they want to do uh, and they seek uh, the MEA's assistance in is actually uh, basically or send Okay, yes. Yes, ethics panel. Remember, he is living abroad. He lives in Dubai. Though, of course, he continues to be an Indian citizen. But because it's a foreign document, there is a procedure called a POSIL, where basically the MEA authenticates and certifies a document which has originated abroad. So if the MEA certifies it, it becomes a legalized document. It can be read as Darshan Hiranandani's statement. And it's unlikely that Darshan Hiranandani himself will then be asked to depose before the committee. And what I'm hearing is uh, that basically after more more it's deposes before the committee on October 31st. The committee is unlikely to call any more witnesses and will then sit down in order to basically put together and recommend its action to the looks of her speaker in the matter. This is uh, while it's becoming a huge political storm too. I appreciate you joining us. Follow me, Saha, with the latest on this big story.